Another adventure of Biggles. Biggles' plan to keep the submarine away from the island is thwarted by the refusal of the Jamaican government officials to give him the bombs he needs. Algy pleads with the minister's secretary, but already it's too late for him to join Biggles by nightfall. Just before dusk, Biggles sees the submarine surface. It is not far away, and unless the plane comes with the bombs, nothing can prevent it from joining the Vega. So he forms another plan. He will kidnap Zorotov, and by holding him, prevent the submarine from leaving the island with the papers. Eagles and gins creep down to the bushes fringing the beach. A burst of pistol fire brings a loaded dinghy from the yacht. The airman identifies Oratov and then wait for him to enter the scrub. Now, grab him, Ginge. Uh, uh, now, what is it? Ah, so! Uh, 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 no, you struggling. I, I've got your arms pinned. Not that noisy, Ginge. I'll keep him quiet while I find his gun. Eric! Help me! Come quickly! It is a... Keep quiet, you fool! <laughs> you better clock him, Biggles! Where are you, Boris? Why do you not call again? I'm sticking your own gun in your ribs, Thornatop. If you want to live, you'll answer and say everything's all right. Say it was a snake or something. Do you understand? Right. I'll move my hand. Now, answer him. It, it was nothing. A, a snake. A, a two snakes. Enough of that. Where are you? I'll help you deal with them. There's no need. There's no need. I used to see you anyway. Das. We'll have to take him away, Ginge. Risk the noise. Eric, it is English. You ask for a chump. Oh. Uh, Quick, Ginge. Take him away. Uh, I'll deal with one, Salheim. Boris. Boris, how are you? Biggles, sir. Don't look so startled. He told you I was here. Where is he? What have you done to him? This. Uh. Now, Ginge. I'm here, Biggles. I I watch from behind a bush in case you needed me. Zolotov all right? Yeah, far from it. He's out cold, like von Stahlhein. Are we going to take both of them? No, Eric isn't any use to us. The sub wouldn't wait for him, but we'll whisk Zolotov away and quickly while the coast's clear. The natives are still about by the sound of that yelling. <laughs> They're running round in circles. Don't know where we are. This is the time to go before their circles overlap our track to the hill. <laughs> Sizzling sausages, old bean. Will you stop pacing up and down like a caged belly giraffe? I say, do giraffes pace up and down? I don't know. Interesting thought, what? Well, like a caged belly algae, anyway. You make us listeners despondent in a minute. Haven't we every cause to be despondent? Oh, I don't know. My Aunt Jemima once said... Oh, to blazes with your Aunt Jemima. Oh, I say, old bean, she wouldn't like that. Look at the time. Hmm. Only midnight. Ah... It is rather late, what? And Biggles was expecting us back by nightfall, with the bombs. Well, I, I shouldn't lose faith in old Biggles. He can handle any jolly old situation that's likely to trundle along. Biggles will only need to make one mistake, Bertie. That'll be his last. Oh, I say, that's being too badly gloomy altogether. How can we be anything but gloomy? We've let the blokes down. We're not going to get the bombs. Mm, that isn't absolutely definite, you know. Of course it is. That secretary would have rung us if he'd seen the minister. Well... Suppose the cabinet meeting goes tosh right through the blooming night. That doesn't happen often. Members of Parliament like their sleep. Oh, well, they have that during their meetings. It's no use trying to dodge it, Bertie. Baldwin isn't going to help us. I thought for a minute I persuaded him. Yes, I'm sure you did, old trout. You were positively very eloquent with all that rot about world wars and so forth. It didn't convince him. What can we do, Bertie? It didn't occur to Biggles that this might happen. Well, tootling up and down like a ballroom dancer won't suggest anything. Relax, old bean. Are you relaxed? Well, far from it, but I'm sitting still. Possibly that's because I think the sausage might still ring. He won't, and even if he did, it's too late now. It'd take a couple of hours to carve through the red tape and bomb up. And then we wouldn't reach the island till well after dawn. The sub will be there by then. Nevertheless, old bean, Relax. You're beginning to tootle again. Oh, stop nagging me about it. I can't sit still. And your tommy rot doesn't help. Old sausage, I'm serious about this. 
If anything does crack, we'll have to act quickly. Agreed? If anything cracks. In which case, we'll need to be fresh and sparkling on all two cylinders. Now, I suggest we use up this awful belly waiting time, not just to sit still, but to turn into the old cots and have a snooze. I couldn't. You'd be surprised. You could do with a dram or two of slumber. It's out of the question. If we're not getting the bombs, we'll have to go back to Biggles. He may need us. Yes, it's the bombs he'll need. So while ever there's a chance of them, we'll have to wait. Now stop being mulish, old trout. Snooze is the order of the night. A spot of dear old snooze. Heavy work carrying him up here. Not sorry we've reached the cave. No. Now, those vines, Ginge, did you bring them? Oh, yes, they're, they're in my pocket. Do you think they'll be strong enough? They were strong enough to send us onto our faces in the scrub. They should bind Zolotov very well. Tie his wrists and his ankles. Roger. Do you think the others followed us up here? Not onto this peak. In fact, I doubt if they followed us at all. The Negroes would wait for orders from von Stahlhein, and it's quite likely that he'd wait for orders from the submarine. Well, that should give us a few hours clear. Not too many, Ginge. By now, the sub will be very close to the island. Yeah, I wonder if it'll be in by morning. Very likely. And the crew of the sub added to his own Negroes? Well, von Stahlhein will have a very strong force. It'll be too strong for us, Biggles. We- we'll never pull this stunt off. We must. we we'll finished tying him in. Uh, yes. Ah. He won't get free, not without help. <laughs> and there won't be any help. Well, there are about five hours of the night left. We'll have to keep watch in front of the cave, so we'll divide it into two shifts. Which would you prefer? Well, the first, thanks. It doesn't seem so bad when you wake up in daylight. <laughs> right. Well, unless anything happens before then, wake me at 2.30. Hello. Yes, this is Lazy. Mr. Baldwin? Yes. You did see him? What did he say? You beauty! A bit late, but still... Oh, no, right away. We can't wait till morning. Will you ring the RAF and tell them we're coming? I don't care what time it is. We must have those bombs. Righto, I'll leave everything to you. And thank you very much indeed for your help. Good night, sir. Bertie, it's on! Hey, wake up, you cot. Want a pillow over your scone? Wake up! Oh, 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 I say, you're actually smiling. I'm laughing, old son. Get up off your back. We've work to do. The bombs are okay. Baldwin rang? Yes, you slept through it. He said the cabinet meeting finished half an hour ago and he saw the minister at once. It took some persuading, but he talked him into it. Oh, how absolutely wizard. Well, come on, old bean. Don't stare grinning like a vacant sausage. Let's whiz out of the drone. There's a certain kite about to be frightened by a load of bombs. <laughs> Well, that enough, do you think? It should be. We could fit in about 50 more, you know. We won't need 50, and we've wasted enough time as it is. Oh, we haven't wasted much, old bean. It was all these other trouts rubbing sleep out of their eyes. Well, everything seems right back here. Yeah? Yes, well now, is there anything else we need to think of before trundling off? Oh. Oh, yes. What? Oh, the dear old chiefy. We can't go without the colonel. Bertie, the minister agreed to us taking the bombs. He certainly won't let us take Colonel Summers. Oh, I don't know. You can be most persuasive at times. Don't be an ass. Do you realize the time? Hey? Oh, sizzling sausages. It's four o'clock. And we won't hit the island till mid-morning. So stop yapping and climb into that cockpit.
Good morning, Biggles. Why didn't you call me when the sun came up? I saw no reason for it, Ginge. Zolotov a wick? Yes, and abusive. <laughs> That's one reason I came out here. There's still nothing happening? A great deal. Eh? Well, why the blazes didn't you tell me? You couldn't stop the submarine coming in. Oh. Biggles, are those boats on the beach down there? Yes, three of them. One from the yacht and two from the sub. They came ashore loaded with men some time ago. Good grief. And and there's another boat pulling round the island. That's loaded too. Going to land on the other side, I expect. The search is on, Ginge. Those men are looking for us. <laughs> With so many men swarming over the tiny island, can Biggles and Gins remain hidden with their prisoner? What will happen to Tom Haymans down by the reef? There'll be suspense and excitement in the next episode of The Air Adventures of Biggles! (laughs) 